Hey there, fellow white shavers. Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be featuring doing something a little bit different. Um, for the soap, we're going to be using Ariana and Evans' Pedro Fiasco line. Uh, this is the Puck Soap that um, came out uh, a while ago now, maybe a month or two. I can't remember. This particular scent is Marzipan. Marzipan. Um, this does come in a cellophane wrapped puck, so it does not come in a tub. And it is a beer soap. It is a tallow soap. Um, I just kind of um, took a chunk out of the side with my 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 former baby spoon, which is now my scooper uh, that I usually use. It is a bit of a harder soap. It's not super hard. Uh, it was still able to be spread around my bowl, um, but it's definitely on the harder side, definitely the hardest soap that A&E makes currently. Um, there are no aftershave products for the Pedro Friasco puck line. Uh, so I'm gonna, this is since it's Amaretto, I'm gonna pair it, or not Amaro, since it's Marzipan, I'm gonna pair it with Moon Soap's Amaretto Aftershape Balm. So a very similar almond, um, cherry almond vibe, gourmandish vibe there. Um, and then from a razor standpoint, uh, as you may have seen from the title, I'm gonna do kind of a comparison. So this is my Rockwell 6S. This is in the black coated version. Uh, I have it on the three plate. This is the Blackland uh, Era razor. It is the level three plate for this one. And um, I kind of wanted to do a comparison of these two because my first couple of videos, I only got the level two and the level three plates with the Blackland. Uh, while I found the shave to be, more, to be very comfortable and I really like the looks of the razor, the efficiency was not there uh, in those two plates. Um, but I liken the shave quality to my Rockwell 6S on a three plate. That's kind of my go-to plate. So what I wanna do is kind of compare the efficiency of these two plates in kind of side by side and see if I really find the Rockwell on the three plate that much more efficient than the Blackland era on the three plate. Um, we are all lathered up in the bowl. This is our PAA Phantom Aerolite synthetic brush. The knot uh, is a little bit big, but it works. Um, we are all lathered up. Plenty of lather in here. Took a little bit more effort on the lathering because of the hardness of the soap. Just took a little bit more muscle um, and elbow grease to kind of get all that soap uh, off the bottom of the bowl and into a lather. I'm hoping I'm hydrated enough here, but definitely volume wise, uh, I got plenty of lather. So uh, I tried to kind of break off about as much soap as I usually do, uh, which is oversized almond size um, sort of scoop. And uh, I think I probably could have gotten away actually with less soap in the bowl to get the amount of lather I really just need for three passes. So um, that being said, um, Let's um, wet the face and we'll just get started. Hopefully we won't make this too long. I hope everybody's well. Welcome all new subscribers. Um, thank you for those that have been around. If you're watching my channel for the first time, hopefully uh, you'll consider hitting that subscribe button below. If you like anything I see or anything was helpful in the video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. All those help the YouTube channel algorithms and help the channel grow and get recommended to other people. So I appreciate uh, any of that that uh, you can do to help me out. All right, so um, I will say the scent on this um, is on the low low medium. I'm gonna say three and a half, four. It's It's definitely not overpowering in the scent strength. Uh, but it is nice and it is there. Um, and it is pretty much straightforward almond cherry-ish gourmand, not overly sweet. Um, scent, so not, not a lot to talk about on the scent itself. Uh, very nice. But it looks like I... Got a nice thick creamy lather out of it. This is, like I said, their value line puck. So if you're not part of the club, I think the, the puck is 995. I can't remember how many ounces it is. Uh, it doesn't actually say on here, I don't think. But um, 
a very good price point. I think, like I said before, I think this is the soap that Peter has created sort of as his value line and entry level line into a lot of emerging markets. So I think that's where he was um, going after with this. So I have a first use NASA blade in both. I had a NASA blade in this one that I used twice, but just to make it fair, I put a brand new NASA blade because this one did not have a blade in it um, since the last time I used it. So just to make it fair. Um, size wise, you can see the um, Blackland handle is just a scotch shorter than the Rockwell. You can see that the thickness of the base plates uh, are much different. The base plate is definitely thinner. Um, so the overall head and base plate um, are much thinner. But the difference with the Rockwell, as you may know, is, is that the base plates with the Rockwell are reversible. So you really have two base plates in one. So on the base plate I have in there, it's the one and the three. And then um, there's a five and a six, and then four and a two. So the Rockwell comes with all of three plates that are reversible. So technically you get six settings or six plates. Um, you just unscrew it and flip it over. So I have it on the three. And whatever numbers on the outside of the base plate is the number you're using. This is a single base plate, so it comes with uh, available in open comb and, and solid bar base plates, one through five right now. Um, other than that, little tiny bit of tab overhang, little tiny tab of blade overhang. So I think in terms of width of the top cap and base plate, about the same. The thickness of the base plate makes this seem a little bit bulkier than this uh, from that standpoint. So anyways, all right, so let's just get into the shade. This side is a little bit tougher on the growth, uh, especially in this area. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the, the black one a little bit of an edge there and use the um, Rockwell on this side. From a price point, the Rockwell just had a price increase. So you could get the 6S in, a, um, in the chrome or silver finish, it's, although it's a brushed finish. Um, none of the finishes on the six S's are, um, are polished. So, um, you can, it used to be a hundred dollars and, um, now it is, I think 120, the black, the red and the blue have a different coating on them. This used to be 130 and I think it's now 150. So very smooth, very nice, plenty of slickness on the soap, no problem there, plenty of density. So we'll use the black one on the other side. Again, the shade feel on my face is very similar uh, between the both of them. The black line is definitely lighter. I didn't weigh them. I should have weighed them. Um, but the black line is definitely lighter, not by a tremendous amount, but it is lighter than the 6S. And I'm kind of comparing these because I think the Blackland, you know, the Rockwell is a mass produced razor at this point. I mean, it's an artisan razor, but it's mass produced. And one difference between one, one of the many differences, but manu from a manufacturing standpoint, this is solid stainless steel, it's coated, uh, but they're made from molds. They're not CNC machined. This razor, I think, is going after the mass larger market, especially in the price point to somewhat probably compete with the Rockwell 6S in a way. Um, but the handle and the top cap are CNC machined. They're not mold made. And then the base plate is 3D printed stainless steel. So both 100% stainless steel, just made differently. Now to get the, the price point on the Blackland at $75, is definitely lower than the price point of the Rockwell at 120 now. But again, the Rockwell comes with all the plates. The Blackland will only come with one plate for that price. Each additional plate is $35. So if you wanted to have multiple plates, 
uh, it could get a little, it'll get more expensive than the Rockwell. The hard part to me is figuring out what plate works for you. As I've said in my last two videos, I've been surprised at the lack of efficiency on the two and three. And generally when I'm thinking of a scale of one to five, because they have a one to five, I'm usually kind of in the middle of one in terms of aggressiveness and blade feel, um, where I feel like the two and three are almost like zero and one in my mind, although I haven't tried anything above above that. So we'll just go on this side since we have it in our hand. Um, and currently the four and the five plates on the solid bar are sold out. I'm not a huge fan of the open comb, so I'm not gonna bother really trying the open comb plates. So, um, and then packaging, I would say, I would give an edge to the Rockwell on packaging. Uh, the Rockwell comes in this nice case. Um, and this one came from Razor Emporium. That's the thing. If you watch Razor Emporium, they sell Rockwells. If you subscribe to their newsletter or watch their Instagram feed um, for Razor Emporium, they typically have a 15% off promo going almost every month for, at some period of time. You can get 15% off. So you can pick up a, a, a Rockwell uh, for 15% off. So, um, and then it comes like this. And then it comes kind of in a presentation like this. It makes it great for travel if space is not an issue. It's kind of big. But, um, you know, if space is not an issue, it just, it has a place for all the plates and a place for your blades. And then the razor kind of goes right in here and it's a nice little, um, very sturdy. It's got, even got a mirror. It's, mine's a little dirty, but it's even got a mirror on there if you need it. But the Blackland um, comes in this box, uh, which is a cool box and it opens kind of cool, but the packaging inside was not great, kind of fell apart. Let's get the Rockwell Edge in terms of packaging. All right, let's, what, let's get the other side here. I think we're rambling on. It's Wednesday, so hopefully everybody's doing good. I'm still working on getting the business set up or the pharmacy. Those of you who saw my recent videos, um, the company I've been with for 15 years sold off the pharmacy business, decided that wasn't in their strategic plan, which then uh, led to them no longer needing me. Uh, so I was laid off. Um, and so now we're in the process of opening up two actually independent pharmacies in the local area. Since these have shut down and been sold, there's actually now um, a really big gap in the market that really needs to be filled. And so we're trying to do that. So I'm in the process of setting that up. We're hoping to have our first pharmacy open by the beginning of April. And then the other one about four to eight weeks after that. I'm gonna wet the face here. And we'll try to go to pass two here. Now, I don't have to have BBS uh, every shave. Um, I am willing to give up a little bit of efficiency for comfort. Uh, but at the same time, there's a certain amount of efficiency that I would like. So it'll be interesting to compare these because I've always felt the Rockwell and the three gave me enough, maybe not BBS, but um, enough efficiency. I'm going to have way more than enough soap in here. So um, definitely if you get this tip would be you do not need a lot of soap. I don't know if you can tell how much I kind of broke off there, but it's it, it's not a lot. I put extra in there really because I wasn't sure how it would lather up and I figured I'd rather err on the side of too much lather than not enough lather. All right, staying on this side. Again, super comfortable. The shave angles are very similar. Um, both have a nice wide shave angle window so you don't have to be like right on top of the shave angle to really feel like kind of doing things in a little different order the way i've been the way i'm doing these but um so both are, are pretty forgiving from that standpoint you don't have to be right on the shave angle to not nick or cut yourself or really have the razor work well for you and feel comfortable. There are some razors out there where the shave angle window is very narrow. And if you are not on that angle, you are definitely more prone and susceptible to nicking or cutting yourself and not having as comfortable of a shave. At least that's what I've found so far. 
Uh, some of them, like the recent Dracot that I tried, that Ellsworth came out with, great razor, but you really got to get your technique down with that. And sometimes what I have a hard time with is that I use so many different razors because of the channel and wanting to, you know, kind of have variety for the viewers. I don't really spend a lot of time with one razor a bunch of days in a row, really getting comfortable with it. I'm more comfortable with some razors that I've had for a long time, just because I've used them a bunch of times over, you know, last couple of years, year and a half. I will say the thinner, um, the, the black line, I will give it a little bit of an edge on getting kind of around my nose um, with the plate, uh, with the size of the head. I think I might've got my, I have a little mole right there that I might've nicked. I saw, I don't know if you guys watch Six Solo's channel. Uh, I'll link his channel if you haven't checked it out. I recommend you check, it, you check him out. Um, he was using the new one of the new supply razors and he uh, nicked a mole on his cheek and uh, quite a bit of blood out of that thing. It's hard to see, but there is a mole right there. It's small and I'm usually able to shave over it with no problem, but occasionally I'll nick it. So anyways, I think if you're, you know, um, looking in the more mass produced market, I think it's fair to compare these razors. I haven't noticed the, uh, I saw DK Damn Fine Shave had some issues. DK had some issues with blade alignment on his black lens. And I didn't see that on mine. But now that I think about it, I need to go back and check um, on it. Um, which was surprising because Blackline is known for their high quality stuff. Very nice soap. Um, definitely can find nothing wrong with this perfectly good soap. Uh, is it K2? No, but do you get everything you need out of it? Enough density, plenty of slickness and a comfortable shave? Yes. The scents are rather simple. Um, but they're very nice. They're not heavily fragranced. So you're not going to get a lot of, um, switch up. Now let's turn, let's do this. Uh, you're not gonna get a lot of scent strength or bold and banging scents, I think out of the pox at this point. There are four different scents. There's a boysenberry, uh, there's, there's the marzipan, there's a coconut, there's a boysenberry, and there is a pomegranate. And the boysenberry and pomegranate are kind of mixed with woods. Yeah, I'm finding that, there's, like I said, the shave feel and everything uh, very, very similar. The feedback sounds a little different. I feel like the feedback sounds a little more hollow in the era than the Rockwell, but Not a big deal. I think we'll just do this. Yeah, kind of got myself a little bit right there. Not a big deal. This is where I have some funky growing hair, right in this jawline in particular. Kind of grows in some weird ways. I don't do the traditional fool's pass. I just kind of do some more stretching and kind of come up at more of an angle. I feel like on this kind of pass, I am feeling the blade slightly more in the black line. I 
but not tremendously. So I gave the black leather a little bit of an edge on the side of the face that I used, used it on. Okay, so it's been a long video. I've had a long, a few long ones lately, so I apologize. I'm gonna rinse the face here. All right, just feeling around while I rinse the face. I would give the Rockwell definitely an edge in the efficiency. It's still not BBS. It's still not the most efficient on the three plate, but more efficient than I think the level three on the black line, in my opinion, at least on this shave. All right, let's um, get some balm out. And there's our bomb. Comes out of those. They have they have new sprayers now, but like the old sprayers really come out very forceful, and it kind of splatters around if you're not careful how you get it out of there. Very nice matching, kind of very similar. Probably a little bit more cherry in the amaretto by Moon Soaps than on the marzipan by A and E. At some point, I think Moon Soaps is looking at coming out with an actual splash, so I'm looking forward to that. Bombs are okay, but I definitely prefer a splash. All right, there you have it, folks. Um, shave quality and everything I found very, very similar. Uh, I think I just found that the Rockwell was slightly um, more efficient on the three versus the three than the, um, the Era. Uh, but again, neither of them um, on those settings are BBS. I probably could have buffed more and kind of gotten a little bit closer, but um, I wasn't going to do that today. So there you have it, folks. Hope you found this informative. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon on the channel.